Let's get right to the three things that you need to know to start off your morning. First thing you need to know, Cisco shining bright in this tech bloom. The company delivered a beat on its second quarter earnings report, and that's not all. The software giant expressed confidence that it will continue to sell more stuff in the coming year, posting a forecast that blew past Wall Street's expectations. Like many tech giants, Cisco struggled to get the supply it needed to make its products during the pandemic, but now seems to have a handle on it, drawing down its backlog by 6%. Though it's still higher than usual, its product revenue was up nearly 9% on the year. And while its unit with WebEx fell 10%, as customers move back to in-person meetings, we'll continue to monitor that and have have more. Second thing you need to know this morning, Bitcoin's roaring rally. The cryptocurrency rising to its highest level in six months, shrugging off a regulatory crackdown and overall scrutiny on the industry. Prices in the overall crypto industry have been battered in the past few weeks by a combo of SEC actions and speculation of more regulatory measures to come. Of course, this all comes as the aftermath of the fallout from FTX and the crypto exchange FTX and its former CEO Sam Bankman-Fried. This rally in Bitcoin that we're seeing is still a far cry from its high close of 69,000 in 2021. And the third thing that you need to know, the U.S. is revving up its electric vehicle push. With Elon Musk lending a big hand here, the White House announced a new protocol to make electric vehicle charging more convenient, with none other than Tesla leading the way. President Biden tweeting at Elon Musk, calling Tesla's support a big deal. You may recall the last time Biden called something a big deal, it was about Obamacare. Now, Tesla has pledged to make over 7,000 chargers available by the end of 2024. This is part of a $7.5 billion federal program. Biden and Musk seem to remain on good terms for the greater good for now.